I legitimately don't know how YouTubers sit here and talk to a camera. I'm like whispering in my room so my siblings don't hear me. It's so awkward. We're making pour overs today, man. So to make a pour over at home, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a gooseneck kettle. It's important that it's gooseneck because then you're able to control the water flow. Obviously you're gonna need some good old grinds. You're gonna need some filters. Um, whatever pour over system you choose, I have the Kalito Wave, which I just think is the best for me. You're gonna need a scale and then obviously something to put your coffee in when you're done making the bean water. All right, so when you're making a pour over, you're gonna wanna do a one to 16 ratio, meaning for every one gram of coffee grinds you're gonna use, you're gonna want to use 16 grams of water. So today we're gonna be using 22 grams of coffee to 350 grams of water. Just put your filter in your little thing tear out your scale. Um, you're gonna obviously have to boil some water, duh. You're gonna pre-wet your filter to get the papery taste off of the filter you choose because you don't wanna taste paper in your coffee. Once you preheat your um, glass container and pre-wet your filter, tear out your scale. Obviously you don't wanna mess up your measuring. It's the most important part. The grinds I have are Brazil. Um, I don't have a grinder at home and we're obviously in quarantine so I got them ground at the place that I bought them from but usually you would want to grind them fresh, they're better that way. Alright, so you're going to take um, your grinds, you're going to put 22 grams of coffee in your filter. Right. So you have 22 grams in here, my water is boiled now. Don't forget to tear out your scale again when you go to put the water in. So you're gonna pour, we call it the blooming process, it's when the coffee lets out all the gas before you like go in and start making it. Pour about twice the amount of water that you put coffee in there for the bloom. So since we put 22 grams in here, we're gonna put 44 grams of water. So we're gonna let that sit for about 30 seconds. Um, you can time it on your phone, my scale has a timer, so I just, um, Tie it on my scale, but you know, in about 30 seconds, let the gases get out. So it's been about 30 seconds now. We're gonna go back in and put um, a little bit more water in it. Don't fill it up all the way. You don't want the grinds to stick to the sides of the filter, and then you're not getting all of the flavor from the grinds that stick on the side. All right, we're gonna go back in. Pour it in a circular motion, which is why it's important to have the gooseneck kettle so you're not just with a regular kettle just like dumping water in the grinds. You don't get even extraction, you won't get control. It's just not a good time. I've tried it. Alright, and once you get to 350, stop pouring, girl. You're done. Just let it sit, let it all filter through. Um, the process should take between three and four minutes. Um, if you're going below three minutes or about four minutes, then you might need to adjust your grind size. All right, so this is our coffee. A little pour over with our Brazilian beans. Just gonna pour it in this mug and we're gonna see how we did because I've never tried this bean. All right, moment of truth. Hope everyone's staying safe. Hope everyone's staying clean, caffeinated. Also, shout out to the local coffee shops. They're really holding it down for us here in Atlanta. And support those guys. Buy your beans from them, man. They'll grind them for you. You don't have to have a grinder, I swear. Because I don't have a grinder. I just made a pour over. Support those guys. They need it. We need it. We all need it. <laughs>